Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepy.com, I will add online link and project files. First of all, let's go to text and let's write here design. Clearization tool and go to color. Let's select this blue color, click OK and move to center. Let's change font size like this and go to here, hold this icon and let's enable title action save. Then hold control and let's double click this pan behind icon for move to anchor point center. Then clearization tool and go to window, open a link. And let's click this icon and this icon for move to our text to center. Then let's select this text and control D. Okay. Let's again control D. I want to every single letter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's control D again. Nice. This is original text. Nice. And let's hide all text layers. Let's enable this and edit text let's delete this text layers okay and let's enable this text again edit and write a move to right okay and enable this text layer let's delete this and this and move to right. Let's delete this I. Okay, and select this text layers. Let's move to left. Then select this text layer five. Let's enable. And let's write G. Move to right. Okay, let's write I. Okay. And move to left again. Select this, enable, right G. Move to right, and finally select this. Control D. Move to right, and change in. Okay. So in this time, let's select this original and let's enable text. Let's change color red. Okay, and lock layer. Select this layer D. Let's move to right. And select this A. Okay. Select this S. Nice. Select this I. Move to left. Okay. And select this G. Move to left. And finally select this N, move to left. Okay, nice. So, let's select this original text and delete. So, select this text layers, go to solo, and let's move the anchor points down. You can use this tactics with anchor points. And I will show second way. Select all text, go to window, and enable animation comes there, anchor point mover. Okay, when we select the all layers, click this icon for move to anchor points down. Nice. This is Animation Composer plugin. You can download, it's free. Also, I have video how to download and install Animation Composer 3. Okay, so let's unsolo these layers and hide layers. So first of all, let's select this layer and press P. Let's go to 5 keyframes, make new passing keyframe, and go to 10 keyframe. Let's click here, write plus 10, click OK. Let's move the object up. Go to 10 keyframe again, select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Then select these keyframes and make easy ease. Go to graph editor, and let's make ball graph. Select this and move to left and move to right so let's see nice back to keyframes and let's enable first letter 
Nice. Let's see. Okay, select these three keyframes and move to right. Okay. And select first keyframe. Let's move to down. Let's see. Nice. And go to here. Select last keyframe and move to here. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's go to here and hold shift press S, make scale keyframe, and go to first second, change scale zero. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select this scale last keyframe, move to right. Nice. Let's move to right like this. Okay, that's good. So Let's go to here and go to last keyframe. And in this time, select this layer, go to edit and split layer and delete. And select this layer D, move to right. Let's see. Okay, let's select D and this layer, go to solo. Okay, this is very basic. So, Let's select this text layer, press S, make scale keyframe, click this icon and change this scale 0. Then go to 10 keyframe, change this scale 120, go to 10 keyframe again, change 95, again go to 10 keyframe, change 110, again go to 10 keyframe, change 100. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, let's select keyframes, hold ALT, move to left for speed animation. Let's see again. Nice, let's hold ALT, move to right. Okay, let's select this text and move to left. Okay, and let's cut this layer. Okay, not bad. Let's chain like this. Okay, not bad. So in this time, select this text layer and let's click toggle switch mode and click this icon for motion blur and also select this text, click here. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select this scale keyframes, Ctrl C, and select this layer, let's enable, and go to first second, let's go to solo, and Ctrl V, let's see, nice, and let's enable all layers, and go to solo, select all layers, and Ctrl V, nice, and let's select text layers, move to right, I will make this animation step by step. Okay, so in this time, let's unsolo all layers and select this layer A, move to left. Okay, and let's select this layer 7, press U, select these three passing keyframes, Ctrl C, and select this layer, go to first second, Ctrl V, and press P. Go to last keyframe and let's move to right. Select this layer, move to right. Let's see timing. Okay, select the three keyframes again and move to left. Nice. So, in this time, select the three passing keyframes, move to right and hold shift press S, make scale keyframe and move to right, change scale 0. Let's move to right, scale shape frames and make easy. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So, select this layer 5 and move to left. Like this. 
and select this text, move to here. Let's move to right. And select this layer 5, press U. And go to here, in this time, go to edit, again, split layer and delete. Okay, let's see. Nice. And let's select this layer 5. Move to left. Move to left again. Okay, and select this layer A. Move to left. Okay, nice. So, I will make other chain frames like this and I will use someone techniques and someone chain frames and let's go. Okay friends, so this is last object and select this, let's control V, these three passing chain frames and press P, select chain frames, move to right, hold shift press S, make scale chain frame, let's move to right and change scale 0, make chain frames easy and let's move to right, let's go to solo, let's see, nice, then select this last text, move to left, and go to solo. Okay, select the three passing chain frames. Go to last passing chain frame, and move to right. Nice. So, let's go to last chain frame and go to edit, split layer, and delete. Select the text layer. Let's move to right, and let's unsolo these two layers. And let's see timing. This is last layer. Let's move to right. Let's move to right again. Move to right a little bit. Okay, nice. And finally, select this text N. Let's move to right. Okay, let's see. Nice. Let's move to left a little bit. Maybe one J frame more. Let's see. Okay, enough. So in this time, let's close chain frame settings and enable motion blur for all layers. And let's see full animation. Nice. So let's select this text D. Let's close motion blur first and change color. Maybe this. Let's see. Select A and change color maybe blue let's see okay and select S change color yellow let's see okay then I let's use this color nice and layer G let's use this apple color red Okay, and finally select N. Let's use this yellow color. Nice. Let's say again. Let's enable motion blur. Okay, not bad. So, friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video, and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.